morning. I'm Rahel Solomon with your morning digital news read for Monday, January 21st. A deep freeze is gripping our region despite temperatures hovering around the single digits. Our camera spotted dozens of people out last night. Some ice skated at the Blue Cross River rink. Others enjoyed ice cream. Yes, ice cream at the Franklin Fountain in Old City. If you do have to go out today, try to make it quick. Authorities are warning people to protect themselves against hypothermia and frostbite. And uh, freezing temperatures did not help Trenton firefighters battling a burning row house. The two alarm fire started at around 1 this morning on the unit block of Walklets Alley. No one was hurt, but the deep freeze did create icicles and fire hydrants and fire trucks, not to mention an icy sidewalk and street. The cause of the fire is under investigation. And it is a day on, not a day off for many on this holiday honoring Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Today is the 24th annual Greater Philadelphia Martin Luther King Day of Service. More than 1,800 projects are expected to take place throughout the region. The largest event is happening at Gerard College in North Philadelphia. Let's go check on the forecast now with meteorologist Chelsea Ingram. Chelsea. Hi there, Rahel. Hello, everyone. Today we're forecasting a high temperature right around 17 degrees. And if that verifies, that'll end up being one of the coldest days we've seen in over a year. We did see 16 degrees back on January 6th of last year. But yeah, it's been more than a year since we've had numbers like that. We have wind chill alerts in place to top it all off. So that's going to make it feel even colder. Wind chill values 10 below zero in some cases throughout the day today. So you need the heavy winter coat, the hat, the scarf, the heavy duty gloves, and also the wool socks and maybe some warm boots as you get outside today. Of course, we'll continue to update the forecast throughout the day, so continue to check in at cbsphilly.com. Sending things back over to you. All right, Chelsea, thank you. And remember, you can always get Chelsea's most up-to-date forecasts and the latest stories right here on cbsphilly.com. That's latest for the Morning Digital Brief. I'm Rahel Solomon. Good morning.